One of my absolute favorite parts of ES2015, aka ES6, is variable destructuring. It's the rare solution that both shortens code and makes it easier to read. Destructuring essentially means that you can pull values from inside an object, array, etc., and assign them to variables in a single line. Let's take a sample object. Now, let's say you wanted old Wolvie's first and last names available as variables for some reason. In the past, you'd need to do the following. And when we console log, we get James Howlett. But now we can do this. Save that. Clear this. Refresh. Same deal. Obviously, that's a short, simple example, but I hope you can see how that can save a lot of code over the course of an entire application. Of course, your variable names have to match the object's property names in order for this to work. If you want to have different variable names, you can do that too. Here's how. Save that. Clear the console. And refresh. There we go, using custom variable names. Oh, want to destructure nested data? No problem. Here's how to do that. Save this. Clear this. Refresh. Healing factor, adamantium skeleton. You can also destructure arrays, like this. Save, and refresh. Storm Cyclops Beast. The first, second, and third entries in the array. This is nice enough, but where it really shines is in loops, including the various re-renders that happen in React. But that's a different tutorial, uh, series. Let's take a look at the for of loop we talked about last week, in combination with the entries iterator we covered in week three. That's the one that gives us the little mini arrays of both index and value. We use this same X-Men array, Save that, and when we refresh, that's going to log six lines. There we go. Before we get to talking about template literals like this string value, we're going to take a quick detour next week to talk about an important addition to destructuring called the rest operator, which literally allows you to get the rest of an array. Oh, and don't forget, you can download example files for each of these tutorials from the JS Quick Hits GitHub repo. I'll link it in the YouTube description. See you next week.